Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. In this video, we will cover how to interface rotary angle sensor with STM32. This here is the rotary angle sensor, and it works with analog to digital converter. It works like a potentiometer, so the resistance changes with rotation, and we get a variable voltage at the output. It have four pins, ground, VCC, and signal. The third pin is not connected. We will use the reading from it, and change them to the angle, by which the shaft has been rotated. Let's start by creating the project with Cube IDE. By the time the IDE loads, let's see the details about this rotary angle sensor. As we can see here, the sensor can rotate between 0 to 300 degrees. Here they have a sample code. It is an Arduino code, but it's simple to understand. Let's go through it. Here first of all we will read the ADC value. Next convert this value to the voltage. And using this voltage, find the angle. That's all, as I said it's pretty simple to use. Now let's create the project in Cube IDE. Choose your device here. Give some name to this project, and click finish. First of all, I am selecting external crystal for the clock. As this sensor works with ADC, I am enabling channel 1. We will keep using 12 bits for the ADC. Here we will enable the continuous conversion. That's all for the ADC setup, now let's go to the clock. I have 8 MHz external crystal, and I want the system to run at 180 MHz. Click save to generate the project. Let's see the connection once. VCC is connected to 3.3 volts. Ground to ground. And the signal pin is connected to the pin PA1, the channel 1 of ADC. Let's start our program now. First of all we will define a variable, that can store the ADC value. Next, define the voltage, and the angle variables. To read the data from ADC, we will use the pole for conversion method. So first start the ADC. Pole for the conversion to finish. Read the value, and store in the variable we created. And finally stop the ADC. Now we will convert this ADC value to the respective voltage. Here 4095 is used because I am using 12-bit resolution in ADC. And 3.3 volts is the reference voltage in STM32F446. After getting the respective voltage, we will convert this to the angle. Here 300 is the maximum angle, 
and 3.3 volts is the supply to the sensor. Let's give a delay of 10 milliseconds in this continuous loop. Change the type here to float. Let's build this code now. We don't have any errors, so let's debug it. I have added all the three variables to the live expression. Let's run it. As you can see the values are zero right now. As I rotate the potentiometer, the angle starts increasing. The maximum angle is 300 degrees. Now it start reducing. And we are back to zero. This working is very simple, as the sensor relies on ADC. This is it for this video. I will try to make another video, where this sensor can be used to control the position of the stepper motor. I hope you understood the video. Leave comments in case of any doubt. You can download the code from the link in the description. Keep watching, and have a nice day ahead.